going to look at preventing a, something called the protocol downgrade attack. And this is an attack that basically tricks the browser into using standard HTTP rather than encrypted secure HTTPS for trans so for sending requests and responses between client and server. And I'm going to show you this with a very basic example. Um, I don't think this is very accurate, but this is I guess a way to visualize what's going on. So when A, the client wants to send something to B, which is a server, it'll basically ask um, where is um, B, basically saying who has this IP address of B. And B will respond saying that's me. And then what happens is A and B will set up a connection and they'll agree to communicate with each other. And they'll agree to use HTTPS and they'll both have um, keys to decrypt the content. So anything that gets transferred between A and B is encrypted and only A and B can open them up. And that's okay. But what the problem that happens is that when an attacker has a device here called C and A asks where is B and before B has a chance to respond, C will be like, oh, I'm B, by the way, and then A will start sending to C and then C will then send them to B pretending to be A. So A and B think they're communicating with each other, but what they're actually doing is communicating with C and C is just passing the message along each time. And what C can do is during the initial transaction, it can tell B that, oh, I'm A and I'm communicating with standard HTTP. We don't need to use encryption for this. And B will agree with this. And then they'll start sending this data along using normal HTTP without encryption. And what can happen is, that since the request and responses are not encrypted, C can then open them up and start looking at the data inside it and extract the data. And remember that when we use things like Express, um, we have the request.user, for example, that has a lot of sensitive user information that we don't want to share. And this, we wanna make sure that um, all our connections are done using HTTPS and they can't be downgraded to prevent the, the request from being accessed. So the way we can do that is we can set up a header in um, our request and responses and it's called strict transport security. And what it does is it basically tells the browser, um, if this is HTTPS, go for it. But if it's not HTTPS, don't even do it with the HTTP, just don't do it at all because it's risky. And what you can also do is you can set this max age, which is the number of seconds that you want this to be active for. So that's essentially what we're going to do. So a very important thing that you have to do um, for this project specifically is, so far we've been using um, Helmet version 2.3.0. This test will only pass with version 3.2.0. So we need to upgrade our Helmet version. So what we wanna do here is we wanna say um, npm uninstall Helmet. So we wanna remove the existing version of Helmet first. Um, again, I think Free Code Camp will fix this soon, but for now we need to use Helmet 3.2.0 to pass this test. So we just want to make sure that we downgrade our current version of Helmet. And like most things on Glitch, this can take a while to do. Okay, so then we want to install, um, we want to say npm install Helmet, and we want to install Helmet 3.2.0 because that's the version we need for this. So there'll be 3.2.0 like this, and that will go ahead and fetch the correct version of Helmet and install it for us. And then afterwards, we're going to do refresh, and that will basically apply these changes to our glitch project and restart it. Okay, so now if we look at package.json, we can see that we're using Helmet 3.2.0 and we're ready to go. So the, how we want to do this is we want to basically set this header for all the requests. And to mount something for all the requests, remember that um, we use app.use. So down here, we can say app.use here. And how we can set this header is we can use a helmet middleware called um, HSTS. And that basically stands for HTTP strict transport um, whatever the S stood for, security. So it basically sets this header. So what we want to do is say helmet.hsts here. And inside this, um, we give an options object and we want to set the max age, which is how long we want to keep this up for. And we're going to just do it for 90 days to start off with. So what we can do is give this variable here because this max age has to be given in seconds. So we can give this 90 days in seconds variable, which is basically 90 days, but in seconds. And for any request for the next 90 days from when the initial request has been made, um, this they'll make sure that only HTTPS is used. Otherwise the requests and responses are canceled. And 
also um since this is we've mounted this for every single request and response this will keep refreshing each time a request or response is made so we don't have to worry about this ever expiring the second option that we're going to set is just this false option to set it to true and that just means it will override any settings so i think glitch has some of its own settings for um doing this so we want to just make sure that we force this to true and um, that should be everything you need to do here. So I'm just going to run refresh here just to make sure that we uh, restart the glitch app. And also what it says is um, if we're doing this for our own websites, we're going to have to buy a certificate to show that we are keeping it properly secured. But um, we don't have to worry about that for glitch because it, the glitch is already secured. So that should be everything you uh, need to do here. So what you can do is you can just copy this uh, live app link and paste it into here. And then you can see that the tests have passed. And I'm not sure if this is going to work, but if we um, submit this and then we have a look at the um, response headers, we can see that the strict transport security um, header has been added here and we have the 90 days age right here. So we know that all connections made to our app will now be secure. So yeah, you can go and submit that and then move on to the next challenge.